Welcome to Sports Babes. I'm Lindsay. Here's Babe talking about the golden boy of the NFL, Mr. Brady Quinn. All right, there's a lot of debate talking about is he going to go number one, number two? Is it going to be between him and Jamarcus Russell? I definitely think those are the two best quarterbacks going into the draft. Great arm strength, great size, accuracy, velocity. Those guys have the tools to be great NFL quarterbacks. But I don't think that Brady Quinn is going to go number one, number two, or number three. You look at this draft, and it's really about what player fits best with what team. You look at last year's draft, Matt Leinart. Everybody was talking about him going number one, and he went number 10. So I think Brady Quinn is actually going to be a little late in the draft. But let's look what makes him a very valuable player. Brady Quinn, probably the best characteristic that he has is he has great timing and touch on those deep balls. He's a polished player. He's a great decision maker. He's very familiar with the NFL offense because he's worked with Charlie Weiss. And Charlie Weiss used to be the offensive coordinator for the Patriots. He also does have some weakness, though, in the pocket presence. I think he needs to work on that. And I also think that he needs to be with a team that really gives him good pass protection because I think he has a tendency to force some throws. And I also think that he needs to work on his mobile game a little bit. He's not as consistent as he should be with making plays with his feet. But still, I think that he is one of those players that with great preparation and great coaching, that he really will do well and he'll, he'll improve on all of his weaknesses. He's very similar to Tom Brady. Okay, so let's look at this draft. You look at the Oakland Raiders, they have the first pick. I don't see them going with Quinn just because I think they're going to go with Calvin Johnson. Or if they do go with the quarterback, I think it's going to be Jamarcus Russell. He's got that big old arm, and I think he really fits better with their offensive style. Detroit at number two, I think they're going to go with an NFL tackle. Probably not going to be Quinn. And then you look at the Cleveland Browns. They're probably going to be tempted to take Quinn, but I think they're going to take Adrian Peterson. And then you look at the Bucks and the Cards, they don't really need Quinn. And then you look at the Redskins, I think they need defense more than they need a quarterback. So that leaves the Vikings at number seven. I don't see them passing on Quinn. I see them taking him, and if they do take him, they could use him as trade bait. But if they do pass on him, then I think the Dolphins, number nine, that they'll pick up Quinn. I actually think out of all the teams, the Dolphins need him the most. He would shine the most on their team. They need his leadership and they need his accuracy. So I hope that he goes that late in the game. Okay. Now, it's either going to be number seven or number nine. That's my prediction. But no matter what round he goes in, I think that Brady Quinn is going to be an amazing NFL quarterback. All right, guys, thanks for watching Sports Babes, and I'll see you next time.